Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Ari for Cloud Learning Journey Partner. So last week I was busy because I was uh, preparing for the COVID-2019 Foundation Certificate. So guess what? I passed the certification. So if you are not familiar with the COVID-2019 framework, uh, let me give you a brief uh, overview about COVID-2019 framework. Well, this is a framework that helps to align business goals to IT strategies so that from IT, the company can get uh, a lot of value and the resource and uh, risk optimization can happen. So it's pretty popular. Organizations like Microsoft, IBM, Oracle, they use this framework. And if you are planning to start your career in a GRC in governance and uh, management uh, position or in even cybersecurity field this uh, COVID 2019 framework is uh, really really helpful if you have this certification under your belt then uh, definitely will land a job as a cybersecurity analyst or uh, anything related to cybersecurity so in this video I will explain what resources I have used to pass the certification how I prepared for the certification and and uh, trust me or not, it only took uh, like seven days for me to uh, complete my preparation. And I was quite happy about the whole uh, phase because I learned a lot uh, uh, when I prepared myself for the certification. So if you stick to this video to the end, you will have a complete roadmap and you can also pass the certification in seven days. So uh, before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than nine years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Besides that, I also hold a certification like CISSP, CCSP, which are the industry standard of cloud security certification. Well, this channel is all about cloud computing and cybersecurity and IT carrying the tips. So if you are interested in this topic, this channel is definitely for you. I'm going to upload a tons of videos to this topic. So please, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. So without further delay, let's explore explode this COVID 2019 uh, certification and uh, create a roadmap like how you can also achieve the certification in just uh, within a week. So at the very beginning of today's video, uh, let's first review the COVID Foundation Certificate. So this certificate is provided by AISACA, which is a very well familiar name in cybersecurity field. And uh, this is the official website of ISACA, and here they have explained uh, what is COVID uh, Foundation Certificate. So uh, basically, COVID Foundation Certificate validates our understanding of uh, IT goals and the business uh, strategies, like how we can uh, align these two so that we can derive value from it, we can uh, optimize the risk and also resources that are associated with our IT infrastructure. So who would benefit from the COVID Foundation Certificate? This is an important question. Before you take any certification, you should first ask yourself, like, am I uh, the appropriate person to take the certification? Uh, it will add any value to my uh, portfolio or not? So here, if uh, uh, you are a fresh graduate student, you can also take the certification or senior, I senior IT business and managers, uh, GRC managers or regulators and consultant. So anyone who is uh, focusing uh, on uh, cybersecurity field, any uh, governance and risk framework, or uh, any analyst related to cybersecurity, they can definitely go for this certification. And uh, what you wanna learn in this COVID Foundation certification? So here you will learn the framework introduction, the principle, the objective, how can you create business cases, how can this, you design and tailor a government system for your enterprise if they are planning to use COVID 2019 as a GRC framework. So uh, here are some other details like uh, the also ISACA helps with the course materials. They provide few free materials that you can always study. And uh, the good part about uh, this uh, COPY 2019 framework is that the certificate is that it will help you to understand the basics of COPY 2019 framework. Now let's uh, talk about the exam, like what sort of question we're gonna face during the exam and uh, how we're gonna achieve the certificate. So this is more of a like multiple choice basis question. So you have to face 75 questions and the time that you're gonna get is two hours. 
And uh, to pass the certification, you have to earn more than 65% uh, of uh, the total quotients, uh, correct. And uh, the domain covered in this exam, so uh, there are a few domains in here, but if you focus uh, these two domains specifically like governance systems and components which is 30 percent and governance and management objective which is 23 percent so pretty much like if you focus in these two you are uh, uh, almost uh, cleared with uh, 53 percent which like a big chunk so that's what i did i focused this two like very carefully and beside that other domains are important too but uh, if you really want to make sure that you will pass your certificate in your first try then these two domains are the core because it's uh, the highest uh, weighted domain in this uh, certification and uh, let's talk about the register uh, registration for this uh, exam so this exam is more of a like foundation exam and it's uh, a 175 usd which is not uh, that much but trust me once you have the certification under your cv under your linkedin profile you will get noticed and uh, this will help you to land the job sell to cyber security sometimes what happens like in cyber security feel like we have to uh, uh get some big certification, something like a certification, or we have to have a lot of experience to land a job in cybersecurity. Guess what? It's not the case. If you take care of these small things, it will show that it, that you really know what you are doing. And once, uh, um, once a recruiter or a potential employer sees all of this uh, cool certification under your belt, even though if you have just uh, graduated, but you have the certification, it shows the commitment that you have for cybersecurity. So my suggestion to you, if you are new in cybersecurity field and you want to land your job, this is an excellent certificate that you can get. All right, so now let's talk about the most uh, concerning question that is uh, what resources we have to cover to pass this COVID-2019 uh, foundational certificate. Well, to make things easy, I'll just share my strategy, how I passed it. So for my exam preparation, I just only uh, I studied two particular material. The first one is COVID-2019 Introduction and Methodology. Uh, this is a material that you're going to get from uh, uh, ISACA website. So all you have to do, you have to just uh, sign up to this uh, uh, ISACA platform. And uh, the good part is like this material is uh, free of cost. You can just download it so uh, the thing is let's explore a little bit about this uh, uh, document so if I scroll down here we can see uh, the table of contents so basically it has 10 chapters and uh, the document is uh, 64 pages long so uh, one may think like uh, 64 pages is nothing I can cover it within one day or two uh, uh, but uh, that's not the case guys because uh, if I scroll down a little bit from here this is the first chapter if you see it's full of information if each and every page you will learn something new concept some new strategies some new names so you really have to pay attention like if you see my document the way I highlight it, it's almost like I highlight everything because each and every single line is important guys and uh, the way we should approach this document is not to memorize it. We have to understand the core concept. Think like you have a task that your organization uh, gave you the, uh, the assign you a task that uh, you have to implement a COVID framework in your organization. So uh, now the whole prospect will change. Now you want to understand. The good part about understanding this document is that once you understand it, it will be with you forever. It's not like you are just memorizing and after the exam, it's gone, it's vanished. Please don't do that. The whole concept behind this uh, strategy is that you have to understand it so that uh, you can implement it in future. And also, if you want to go for some advanced level certification like COVID implementation certification like that, this uh, document will help you to build a strong foundation that and uh, from there you can build on top of it so please pay attention even though it's 64 pages 
uh, tackle it uh, in a way like I, p I finished it in seven days basically so every day I try to finish a particular number of pages so please divide those pages and make sure you understand it the next day when you're gonna start uh, reading this document please make sure make sure that you revise the earlier pages so that you know you can uh, recall all the important stuff so that's a very important document this document if you thoroughly understand this document the chances to pass the certification is more than 90% guys so please pay attention to this document and the second thing which is uh, a gem that is this uh, slides that I found from online and uh, this is like 132 slides but if you cover this document oh my god this is uh, pure gold because here the document is pretty much like the simple version of the document sometimes when you see an official document like that like the COVID framework introduction document it's overwhelming with all the information and knowledge so if you go through these documents like this slides it helps to um, understand the whole concept and uh, if you see here uh, things are explained in a very very easy way so that's a great document to cover so the way we should approach it first please try to finish the first document once you understand it you finish it then please tackle this uh, slides we should make sure that uh, you understand the concept and you can also recall the important key points so a uh, question could be like can i ignore the first document and just only focus on this slides the answer is no because uh, this is a summarized version but if you really want to know in depth then the first document is the document that will help you to do that so if you combine both of these documents then you will have uh, like uh, almost 100 percent chances to pass the certification okay so now we have covered the resources that we need to uh, study for the certification now let's talk about the preparation strategy like how should we start uh, preparing what should be our strategy how should we tackle these documents well first of all uh, the thing is that you really need to be consistent because when you look into this document this document has a lot of information right guys so when you start your preparation please be consistent please don't take any break like one day you are studying the second day you're taking a break third day you are studying it don't help so please start uh, with a very steady mindset every day you have to study for study it you have to revise it and if you do that within seven days or ten days you will be all ready for the certification and uh, the cool part is that uh, once you know this uh, thing so it a lot of new components a lot of new concept you're going to learn which will help you to grow in your cybersecurity field because uh, cybersecurity is a uh, ocean of knowledge and this COVID framework, it is very respected framework. P organizations like Microsoft, uh, Oracle, they are using it. That means they definitely found value from it. So it is a very good addition. And beside that, let's talk about the exam. So in the exam, there are like uh, 75 questions you have to answer. And for each question, you're gonna get three um, uh, options. So that's good. So uh, the way I tackle the exam is that we got two hours. So in first hour, my target was in one hour, I will cover 40 uh, questions. And the second hour, I will cover 35 questions and uh, that really worked well for me because we really need to have a plan so remember about certification guys when you are uh, attending any certifications uh, exam it's uh, more like 50 percent of the preparation and 50 percent of uh, like the strategy that you're going to follow so strategy is as important as the preparation so i followed that and it really helped me and the good part is like i was really confused about some of the questions i flagged it and once i'm done with all the answers then i came back so that uh, i can and think uh, thoroughly and answer those questions uh, in a more confident way. So I feel if you follow these uh, uh, tips, it's uh, very possible that you're going to pass this exam within one week or two. Uh, and uh, once you have the certification, uh, that's uh, a very good accomplishment. That's a great achievement and uh, it will uh, help you to grow in your cybersecurity field. 
well uh i think that's all for today's video if you guys have any questions or any concerns about the preparation about the material please let me know in this comment section and i will uh, answer you in a very short period of time thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me uh, and day by day our community is growing more and more uh, tech enthusiastic people are joining which is it feels great and the whole motivation behind this channel is to help each other to become a better it professional uh, if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos if you want me to cover any specific topic or you need any sort of uh, suggestion or any guidance related to your it uh, career please let me know i will uh, answer that or cover that for you. Um, that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.